While the four-cylinder pontoon types were positioned in the mid-range, Type 220A, which was introduced in March 1954, clearly targeted the upper class. The six-cylinder type was given the self-supporting body in pontoon shape, and at a quick glance could hardly be differentiated from its little brothers. However, the wheelbase of the 220A was greater by 170 millimeters, allowing for extra legroom in the back. The hood on both sides of the radiator grille was almost flush with the bumper. Air vents were positioned behind the series produced fog lamps and the front indicators were set in chrome cases mounted on the very front of the fender. The six-cylinder engine of the 220A descended from its predecessor of the 187 range, but it was modified in certain ways, which was noticeable with its 85 horsepower output. In March 1956, types 219 and 220S were launched as successors of the first six-cylinder model with a ponton body. The performance of the 200S was raised to 100 horsepower by two tow-phase carburetors. Model 219, on the other hand, internally called W105, was to some degree a hybrid. Derived from models 190 and 220, it was supposed to target new customers as a budget-prized basic model. About two years later, another new six-cylinder model was released, the 220 SE. The model, internally known as W128, mostly resembled the 220S, but was additionally supplied with a fuel-injected engine and raised the output to a stunning 115 horsepower. With its higher price and a limited total production volume of 1,974, it was the most exclusive model of the range. In August 1959, the types 219, 220S, and 220SE were succeeded by the new Fintail model range 111. In five years of production time, 111,035 six-cylinder saloons with ponton body came into being. From a technical point of view, all Mercedes saloons since then have a ponton-shaped body. Nevertheless, the name ponton Mercedes is reserved for the original model generation. <laughs>